Believe it or not, to stand out as a high level cleaning business, you don't have to pay a single dime. I'm gonna share with you seven free ways to stand out against your top tier big competitors in your marketplace that you could be implementing right now so people perceive you as a top notch cleaning business. Hello, hello, it's Shanique here, the cleaning authority boss. If you wanna learn everything sales, marketing, and productivity to grow your cleaning business so you are well paid and well appreciated in your career and in your life, then be sure to subscribe. I'm on the journey to 10K subscribers so your likes, comments, and subscriptions completely help hitting more people like you start and grow in their business. Next, you need to do what you say you will do to build trust. Be a person of your word. People need to trust you in small things. If you say you're gonna call back tomorrow at 6 p.m., call back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Those little things does matter. If you cannot even return a call, how can someone trust you in their home to clean on a consistent consistent regular basis. Always do what you say and impress people with your commitment and being able to be reliable in everything you do. I often get people message me and ask, how do I stand out from my competitors? How do I compete with bigger companies? And I always say, already position yourself as a company that is well established and you want to be a little bit delusional that you already are that cleaning business. And that's the first thing you need to do to step out is really condition your mind and understand and truly believe within yourself, convince yourself that you are a professional top tier cleaning business. And once you think that, you begin to act that way. The saying goes as a man thinketh. So if you think you're less than and unworthy, then your actions are going to follow. Once you convince yourself, my business makes six figures, my business is getting in front of top tier clients, continuously tell yourself that and you will then bring the action to it. That's the first thing that you need to be considering when wanting to stand out is to convince yourself that you are the business that plays with the big dog and you are able to really stand out within just your mindset alone. Next, you need to do what you say you will do to build trust. Be a person of your word. People need to trust you in small things. If you say you're gonna call back tomorrow at 6 p.m., call back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Those little things does matter. If you cannot even return a call, how can someone trust you in their home to clean on a consistent, regular basis? Always do what you say and impress people with your commitment and being able to be reliable in everything you do. So their actions follow. Wait, wait, have you claimed your free domain yet? Yes, I said free, free website domain. Before you check the link in my description, if you're still spending hundreds of dollars and endless hours building a website, you are doing it wrong. And let me ask you this. What is one thing that a potential client is always checking before they decide if they want to work with you? your website, in addition to Google reviews. A lot of business owners and entrepreneurs stall on this step and I completely understand why. Because building out a website could be very daunting, stressful, time consuming, not to mention hundreds of dollars that you need to invest, at least until now. And I couldn't complete this video without mentioning this video's sponsor, Durable, the AI that builds out your website for you in seconds. But don't just take my word for it. Let me show you in three simple steps. Step one, provide Durable with a few details about your business. Step two, sit back as the AI works its magic and boom, in 30 seconds, your website is ready. Step three, customize it. You can make quick edits with AI suggestions, choose images from their stock gallery, or upload your own, and get SEO tips to help boost your visibility. And I wanted to see if they can make this website better. So all I did was scroll up, click customize and ask them to regenerate my website. And I love this new design. Again, within seconds, it just repopulated a new and improved website that all I have to do is do a few customized changes. And I wish that softwares like Durable was around because I spent three days building up my first website. Three whole days. With Durable, you can launch your professional, fully functioning website faster than you brew your morning coffee. What are you waiting for? I have a discount code and you could save 30% off your first three months. Yeah, with plans as low as $12 a month. Go ahead, check the link in my description box and tell me how much you love it. Next is professionalism. It costs nothing to smile, to deal with people with respect and kindness, even in the frustrating moments. Even when someone wants to disrespect you, you can still be stern 
stern and firm without being disrespectful back. And I understand it's hard, but that is a skill when it comes to running a business is to know how to deal with people and really escalate an issue. I highly recommend learning how to deal with people, problem solve, keep cool and control your emotions in these situations. Being professional is also more than dealing with problems, but it's how to keep organized your appearance and communicate and how you show up in your marketing, making it professional clean will really help you stand out if not be on the same par as big time competitors. Number five is just the part. Although you do want to invest in some money eventually in uniforms, when I just started out, I just wore a white t-shirt or black or all black and put my hair in a bun, really neat makeup, just clean. I also kept my car clean. Just everything that represents your brand. So having a clean appearance as much as possible is going to help you stand out from your competitors. Eventually you can invest in uniforms and really standing out and really a brand for yourself that's going to ultimately really help you stand out but you can use what you have right now simply having a clean appearance is going to help you to stand out against your competitors is to always be following a process if you are answering the phones without a script if you do not know your processes on how to onboard a client if you have no idea to hire employees everything becomes unorganized it all becomes a one event trial basis and it becomes pretty sloppy and your client is especially high level clients can sense that. Someone who generally values an organized clean process and actually depends on cleaning services is not going to work with you long if you do not have things in control. So you need to be having a process that you're following consistently. So if you want help on how to really organize and structure out your business, then I highly recommend that you check out the all-in-one cleaning business growth guide that helps you on how to start and grow your cleaning business from start to finish, as well as having Discord mentorship access so that you can continuously ask questions and get support on how to really make your business seamless and flow so that you're standing out from your competitors and really retaining more clients for the longevity of your business. I highly recommend, which is completely free, is to follow up with a win-win mindset. I'm going to post my win-win method to selling on the phone, which is a method that's gonna help you feel that you are benefiting from the deal, but as well as your client benefiting from the deal so you guys both feel good about the transaction, you don't feel icky or they don't feel that they've been taken advantage of. When you're following up with a win-win mindset, you're following up with the intentions of helping out this person and not just, I need their business, I need their money. Not all money is good money and not all clients are good clients, but when you understand that this client is gonna benefit from your amazing services, you generally wanna follow up because if you're not following up, they're gonna go with someone else and have a bad experience with them. But because you have a strong mindset, you are building up professionalism, you know that you're going to provide the best service for them and the best experience, your follow-up is actually going to help you stand out, especially because you genuinely care. Number six, whether you are working alone right now or you have a small team or a bigger team, continuously training, developing the skills, whether it's in yourself or your team, is going to help your team be more confident and successful when dealing with clients. That is completely free to impart a mission and vision of your business into yourself and into your team is completely free. If people in your business do not know what you're working towards, how they should act, how they should show up, or you're not setting the expectations, you're going to lose out on the ability to stand out and just have a great atmosphere within your team, which then then seeps down to your client because happy people provide happy services and you want that. So that's completely free to pour out encouragement, team building skills within yourself and your team, which is going to help you stand out against your competitor. Speaking about expectations, your next one is to set clear expectations with your current clients. I think a lot of new entrepreneurs in the cleaning business really make decisions and communicate with their clients out of fear and desperation, and they just let anything slide. But if you have set expectations, you actually are able to attract better high value clients. That's going to respect your processes. Again, like I said, when you have processes and expectations, you have smooth operation in your business client to client, which makes it very easy for your clients to onboard and work with you, but it's also going to relieve any stress within you and your team and less stress, happy people create happy services. So setting expectations within your services, service agreements, just making sure that you have clarity with your clients and having great professional boundaries, especially with operational times and hours and things of that nature is gonna help you stand out 
against your competitors. It's also going to help you be perceived as a professional cleaning business and not someone that they can walk on and can kind of dictate and push you and boss you around. This is your business and you should be setting clear expectations. Again, if you do need help with processes, expectations, scripts, and things of that nature, then you're going to want to check out the all-in-one cleaning business growth guide that has everything that you need to start and grow your remote cleaning business. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any free ways that helps you stand out from your competition or just helps in your business down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.